Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got uh, we got a little treat. A New Year's Day treat from the guys over at College Football Revamps. And they came out with a version 17. It's pretty much a redo of the SEC conference. Along with uh, some changes. Some changes to the game of course. Uh, but before I proceed, let me just wish you all a very happy new year. Hope that you guys are were able to celebrate with your friends and family safely and uh, enjoying this holiday weekend. So yeah, like I said, the College Football Revamp guys, they came out with version 17 uh, today. Um, sorry that this video is, is coming out kind of late. I had to work today, so... Uh, Shout out to everyone that had to work today out in the workforce. Got to do things to get it done. So today, <clears throat> one of the things that stood out for this version is so I'm looking. I'm looking at the uh, the notes. So they updated the score bug to match ESPN broadcasting. They also updated the quarter transition to match ESPN. So I'm going to try to go through uh, some things, not everything, but I'm going to go through some things here just so I can see what we can cover uh, in this in this video. I don't, I don't want it to be too long, but uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, one of the big things that I did see also was that they updated some of the stadiums in the game, which, I mean, wow. It's, I've seen some screenshots of certain stadiums, and it's just like, wow. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and go. Let's check out Miami's Miami's home stadium, which we all know it's they play at Hard Rock. And why not try it out against the uh, rivals, their bitter rivals? Let's see here. I'm just gonna do a quick something here, real quick. They also mentioned that they updated the uh, loading screens. So here you, you can see we got Bailey Zapp from Western Kentucky. He recently believe he broke the record for the single season passing records and single season passing touchdowns, which I believe they belong to Joe Burrow when he was at LSU a couple seasons ago. So big props to Bailey there. coin toss and it's presented by Nissan innovation that excites oh wow already right off the bat just you see that stadium and what these guys were able to accomplish my goodness let's get the ball first let's uh go ahead Florida and State is ready receive this ball as they line up for the opening kick and this one's a short kick Mallory fields it at the 22. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. You can already see that bottom score bug on the bottom. It's, it's updated and it's showing both teams with their records. Now, this is, of course, an exhibition game, but as if you're in playing in dynasty mode, obviously it's going to show your record for the season. And that, to me, that is little details like that 
Oh yes, that'll that'll get me every time. So let's go ahead and check out this stadium. I mean, my goodness, they these guys what they were able to do. I mean, we all knew in NCAA Double A fourteen the Miami Hurricanes were playing in the orange uh, in the uh, Orange Bowl in the uh, old stadium. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have turned it to the daytime so we can actually get a really good view of the stadium. You know what? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Right, here we go. I mean, wow, if, if that's not a replica of Hard Rock Stadium, I don't know what it is, but wow, look at this. I mean, just the fact that these guys at the college football revamp team were able to do is include Hard Rock Stadium into a a game that came out in 2013 my goodness Look, they even have the banners for the Dolphins we got the Jumbotron in one corner another corner all four corners they got the Jumbotrons it's the end zone Miami ACC. Let's see what else. So the field itself, the home team, got the U. Obviously, the visitors, the hated rival Florida State Seminoles. They added ACC Canes there at the bottom. And then the U of Miami. I would never have imagined that these guys would have been able to do this. Unbelievable. So if you're a Miami fan, you got to love this. To be able to play at Hard Rock Stadium for your dynasty going forward. Man, this is this is amazing. Big props to the guys. All the guys that are in the group of the college football revamp you know i myself am not part of part of college football revamp so uh really really big props to them to be able to figure out everything whatever it is that they need to to be able to include the stadium into the this game amazing you know if you don't have college football revamp yet i strongly encourage you that's a great tackle at the ten to go ahead and get it for you yourself a really good move at the line of scrimmage sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing i myself at the start of the i am playing on a PS3. first down 10 to go ball on the 10 yard line i am on the ps3 so throws out and through his hands it's available on pc via RPCS3 and also on the Xbox 360 so I highly encourage you if you can to go ahead and get this for yourself I promise you you will not regret getting uh, college football revamp on NCAA football Bowl. He scrambled. And he's tackled just outside the goal. All right, so we're winding down the first quarter. We're going to see what changes they made in this quarter transition. There are three quarters remaining. The Hurricanes lead it by two touchdowns. And we're back. All right, so I guess it was that little cutscene right there. I did see a difference. Nice little touch to match the ESPN broadcast. Touchdown, Seminoles! And now let's head down to the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. All right, let's take a look. We've got the field logos. Pac-12, presented by 76. 
got Washington in one end zone. <clears throat> got Stanford in the other. And look at this stadium. Wow. I mean, wow. I'm not real familiar with the Legion Stadium in Vegas, so if you guys, if one of you guys are, you just let me know down in the comments if, uh, you know, how how close it resembles the Legion Stadium. I'm assuming, you know, that it is. You got the big old Jerry World uh, Jumbotrons, Titantrons, whatever you want to call them, screens. So, looks very nice. This is a Pac-12 championship. Going forward, and you, if you guys are playing your dynasties, of course, if you have college football revamp, this is going to be your Pac-12 championship uh, game. You're going to be playing this nice stadium in Vegas. So, it's pretty good. It looks really, really great. Got the sponsors around the stadium. Chevrolet, Coca-Cola Zero. Pack 12 logos. Unbelievable. Such an amazing job these guys are doing. Let's look at the padding here at the goalpost. Of course, she got Pack 12 uh, FCG. Pack 12 football conference game or championship game, sorry. Legion Stadium. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Georgia has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Wow, you can already see a little glimpse of the stadium and what these guys were able to do. All right, so the field, we got the SEC lo midfield logo, SEC on the 25-yard line championship. On the other 25-yard line, SEC championship. Okay, we got one in the end zone, Georgia. And of course, you should have Alabama on the other side. Got the SEC conference banner at the end zone. And on the goalpost, you have the SEC championship wrap, I guess. Got Georgia's, Georgia's bench. And they added a nice touch of the SEC conference. I don't know if these... I don't think these were there before, but you have all of the teams that make up the SEC conference. If this is new, that's a nice little touch to, to this, uh, this version of uh, college football revamped. And on the other side, same thing. Southeastern Conference. But now, let's take a look at this stadium. I mean, look at this. I mean, yes, it doesn't look that great because I'm kind of zoomed in. Let me, let me try to fix this camera. But, I mean, look at this. This is Atlanta, Georgia, the SEC Championship game. Home of the Atlanta Falcons. And they actually were able to get the screen... Oh, I should say screens, the ring screen of the stadium itself. Can you believe they're able to do that? Wow. That is unbelievable. Crazy. It's just amazing what these guys are. These guys are very talented and just the things that they're able to do with a already nine-year-old game coming up this year it's just remarkable so you got the generic uh, sponsorships and they added this band I don't think that was there before but if, if I could be wrong but the SEC you got outside can go higher than that. So we got outside. Wow, this is unbelievable. This really gives you the feel 
of the SEC championship game going forward. Again, if you're in Dynasty, create a new dynasty, or you don't even have to create a new dynasty. With this version, it, it automatically updates uh, your dynasties that, that you're already in. As long as you have college football revamped, you'll be able to take advantage of playing in these awesome stadiums that these guys have been able to edit and add and be able to make it up to date as best as they can with the resources that they have. Truly, truly amazing. Yeah, guys, uh, and I just want to say too, you know, if you want to support the channel, uh, feel free to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I think currently I'm at about maybe 90 subscribers, 92. So, you know, I started this this channel a year ago. Uh, just just wanted to upload videos, you know, just games that I was playing at the time and. I didn't really think much, you know, it was going to grow. I mean, to me, with having as many subscribers as I have now, I, I've already won. You know, I was, if I could have gotten at least five or ten in the beginning, I would have been fine with that. But I know content that I was uh, loading with uh, college football, that's where I got most of my subscribers. And I just want to thank you guys. Thank you guys that have subscribed to this channel. I really do appreciate it, um, and you know, you know, we all just have a love, I guess, for college football, and um, and I just gotta say thank you, thank you guys, really do appreciate it. Let's see, well, so we've already done a few stadiums. They've also mentioned on their notes that they updated the. Uh, Helmets, or not the helmets. I'm sorry. The, the helmets, jerseys, pants, gloves, and socks for uh, for the SEC conference again. Just, so they basically did like a redo. Um, and it's not for. I don't think not every single team got updated. Uh, helmets, jerseys, pants, gloves, or socks. It, it was just a select. But let's go real quick. Let's look at Auburn. They did get some uh, updates on their equipment, their jerseys. Let's see, home away, home alternates. Let's see, it's the white blue. Now it's the white orange helmet. So the face mask uh, changed to orange on the home alternates. And the away alternate, their face mask also turned white. So now they're like a good clean all white. They have a Pat Sullivan tribute a jersey combo with the helmet number on the side. Pretty nice. So they added that to Auburn. LSU. I wasn't planning on doing this in this video, but well, why not? What the heck? We're already here, right? All right. So we got the home. They're away, and then they have Silent Season. I don't know. I think this should be a new one. It's pretty nice. With the purple on top. Alternate ones. Alternate twos. Alternate three all white. I always love the all white uh, uniform combo. I just think that's ridiculously uh, great. Uh, let's see. Let's try. Let's check out Missouri. Oops. We got the black tiger helmet with the, this year's black jerseys and pants. White's gold rush preset of uh, this combo. It's pretty nice. The Top Gun. I want to say these were already included in version in the version before. Turnover Champ. This should be. A, I think this is a new one. Liberty Bowl. It's a, it's a new helmet design. 2020 All Blacks. 
2021 all blacks 2020 all whites 2021 all whites stripes look more bold on the pants some more alternates of Missouri Yeah, if you guys want in the comment section, let me know who's your favorite team. Who you who, who do you rock with in uh, NCAA football? And not just this game, but I mean, in, you know, in 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 real life, you know, what 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 what's your favorite college football team? Whether if you went to the went to the school, or you're just a fan of college football in general, let me know down in the comment section. So we got Missouri. See, Mississippi State. They also got some updated helmets and jerseys. Set one, home and away. They got Bulldogs Gray. That's pretty nice. Bulldogs on the side. Uh, 2019 Egg Bowl jerseys. I don't know if these were in before and if. I don't remember, but they look really nice. 20. 20 Egg Bowl, all whites. 21 Egg Bowl. TK Martin. And Blackouts. Flying M throwbacks on the helmet. Statesman. Oh, wow. This, this is a new one. Oh, my goodness. That looks pretty, pretty nice. Wow, so far I think that's probably my favorite. I might have to do a dynasty with Mississippi State now just because of these jerseys. Home or away, I'm using these jerseys no matter what. Wow, that's nice. CWS Tribute. I think that's pretty much it. These are just the alternates. Wow, those are nice. Uh, Ole Miss. Sixty throwbacks. I believe they were wearing throwbacks for their bowl game, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was the one they added. It was the throwbacks. Throwback helmet and the jersey. Let's see, Tennessee. Smoky Gray. I believe those are already there. Black. Oh, the 16s. So they got the 16s, you know, uni combos. Home and aways and the alternates. Yeah. We got A and M. Nineteen ninety eight throwbacks, wow. Twenty nineteen road. And yep, so the nineteen ninety eight Throwbacks. That was a good year for them. Uh, let's see. Vandy. Vandy's getting some love. Vanderbilt. Let's see what they got. They got blackouts. I, I want to say those are already included. But those are pretty nice with the diamond star on the helmet. Battle Ready 19s. I like that anchor. Battle Ready 20s. Nashville Skyline. Wow, look at that. Very nice. Airborne Tributes. Star. Anchor in the back of the helmets. Anchor down black helmets. Oops. Anchor down white helmets. All white. That looks pretty nice. Uh, gold helmets with the white unis. Very sweet. And the alternates. Man, there's so many combos you guys can... Are able to be uh, to do with with all of these updated uh, uniforms that the college football revamp team has has included. Like there's just so many that you just can't go wrong with anyone. All right, guys. Well, I think that's gonna be it for now. I'll make another video including other other uh, updates that they did. But just for now, I wanted to just put out a video um, just to kind of show go over 
just real brief about some of the things that I saw that I just I had to see for myself to believe. So again, guys, just just thanks thanks a lot so much for uh, for watching this video. And uh, like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead and subscribe. Uh, turn on those notifications and um, hit the like button. Uh, I really do appreciate it, and you guys supporting the channel. And just so you all know, with the new year, it's going to be coming some some more new content uh, in the next few days or weeks. Um, so just stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll be making another video uh, showcasing the updates on this version 17 titled the SEC Redo for College Football Revamped on NCAA Football 14. Until next time, guys, you guys take it easy. Take care. Peace.